So then my next step is going to be to make sure, and you can pretty much pick it up and see if it has a lot of wet spots by turning it like this and, and you'll be able to see if it's pooled anywhere on here and you want to be careful if you don't want to make inter you know interchange the color or anything and then I'm going to lay it like that upside down and the reason the reason I do that is number one again to stop the color but also to make sure that I pat off any excess color now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it on the opposite side from where I put the color. So first of all, while I'm getting my ink pad, I'm going to turn it up and give it just a couple more seconds to dry. Then I'm going to use archival ink. It works the best. Um, stays on works as well however uh, it tends to get a little sticky on the stamp and uh, I want to get a good impression and I want to work fast so I'm going to use uh, my archival ink and so I'm just going to whatever uh, stamps I want to use I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to flip it over to the back so now I have a nice smooth side and then I'm going to start stamping. So this is my little compass and I think I want that over there like that. And these things are so great in the sunlight. You're not going to believe it once you're finished with this. So and then I'm going to maybe take a little time piece and put it down there. And then I'll put this guy over there and let me show you where I'm at so far so as you can see I got some interest to it now and maybe one more stamp yeah I'll put it maybe right there okay so now I've stamped this up so my next move is to give it a good chance to dry it doesn't take that long but you do want to give it a chance to dry and once it does dry I'm going to coat it with diamond glaze you really want to make sure that it's getting dry um, so nothing smears around and you can pretty much either touch it it might be a little bit tacky or you can do like I did and press it down on your paper towel then next I'm going to take my paper piercer and I'm simply going to stick it in the very middle and just go right through it. Be very careful with these things. I have actually stuck myself with mine and it does hurt. It really does hurt. And pull it out. And then I have a hole and once this is completely dry I am going to add one of these swivel clasps by Tim Holtz. Uh, you can use what you like. I love these things. They're very convenient. They're not really expensive. And um, they're cool. You can use them to hang stuff or you can make keychains with them. This is, you know, the top little ring, jump ring. And it's just one of these kind that you squeeze the top to get it open. So I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry and hook it up and then in the meanwhile I'll show you a whole bunch of other ones that I made using this very same technique. Now how easy was that?